This is Dr. Mike DeVord, president of B3 Science. Over the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna share with you the growth hormone effect of implementing blood flow resistance training, working out in half the time with half the weight that you can get with B3 bands. And speaking of growth hormone, growth hormone elevates as children and then it peaks. And then as we start to get into our 20s and 30s, growth hormone declines. Once we get into our middle ages, growth hormone release is very slow. And this what leads to the aging process. This natural release of growth hormone that we get on a daily basis cannot be altered, meaning Mother Nature set up this genetic clock and you cannot alter this night release. What happens as we get into our 30s and 40s and older in life, decrease in lean muscle, increase in fat, and weight gain around the midsection. In addition, we start experiencing symptoms like low energy and fatigue, lack of sleep, decreased libido, thin and dry skin, early onset of arthritis, and loss of bone density. But there is a solution, and there's only one solution that doctors agree on. And here's what doctors say that human growth hormone can reverse the manifestations of aging by five to 15 years or more. There is no other single therapy currently available that can have the impact on aging of the body that human growth hormone can have. Unfortunately, you only have two options to elevate growth hormone. One is high intensity exercise. Think of heavy weight lifting or 45 minute high intensity CrossFit class. Unfortunately, most of us as we get older cannot do this. In addition to the time problems, it comes with pain, soreness and potential injury and a recovery period that's needed. The other option is synthetic hormones that unfortunately some people choose. These synthetic injections and creams, these are not the body's natural hormone. They're expensive and require doctor visits, and there's many health risks. Really, the only natural solution we have is high intensity exercise. Most of us don't have the time with a busy schedule. For a person like me in my 50s, it just hurts too much. I can no longer lift heavy weights or do a 45 minute high intensity exercise class and many people, because they're doing low or medium intensity exercise, like walking or biking, are not getting results. Well, there is a new solution to the growth hormone problem. And it's a technique that's been studied and proven in over 50 years of use and research in Asia, and now is spreading across the United States. It's called blood flow resistance training. When you put these bands on your arms and legs, it safely slows down blood flow. It doesn't cut it off, simply slows it down so that you can do low intensity exercise for short duration. But the benefit is it simulates high intensity exercise and promotes growth hormones. Let's go back to current exercise. When you're lifting heavy weights or doing a 45 minute cardio class, or a high intensity fit class, you feel the fatigue, you feel the burn in the muscles. And what happens is that burn is dropping your oxygen level. It's a buildup of lactic acid. And this is what stimulates a response in the body. The problem is current exercise, like doing heavy weights, our oxygen level cannot get below 30%. Let's look at this study. This is a study done on men doing biceps curls to fatigue using typical weights. You can see as they fatigue, they're getting down around 30 to 35% oxygen and they're feeling the burn. Now let's talk about blood flow resistance training and B3 bands and why this is such a scientific breakthrough. Again, in this picture, this young man's got the bands on his arms and the lady's got the bands on her legs. It safely slows down blood flow. Imagine just turning a garden hose down a little bit. This reduces the amount of oxygen coming into the muscle. 
Then as you're doing lightweight exercises like bicep curls or elliptical exercise, the muscle quickly fatigues into what we call a metabolic crisis or metabolic fatigue. Why is this happening? Because the muscle doesn't have the same blood flow. The oxygen drops very fast and gets below 30%, in some cases even below 20%, leading to better results. Let's look back at our chart. This is the same study with these same men lifting half the weights but with the BFR bands on their arms. Look how low their oxygen levels getting in the biceps muscle when they start to feel fatigue. Down around 20% and in one case below 10%. What is happening in the body when you do this? Look down there at the bottom left corner. You've got the blood flow restriction device on your arm. It's not cutting off arterial flow. It's only slowing down blood flow back to the heart. So when you use bands like B3 bands, it's safe. The oxygen quickly drops and then a signal goes to the brain. The brain thinks you're doing a dramatically increased amount of exercise or work. Why? Because the oxygen level is dropping down. The lactic acid is building up very quickly and the brain senses that the muscle is in a metabolic crisis. Look up at the top right. The brain thinks you're doing high intensity exercise, resulting in a safe increase in heart rate, an increase in breathing, an increase in sweating, and a growth hormone surge. Let's look at four studies done on growth hormone. In this first study, 11 men performed lightweight training with and without blood flow resistance bands. In the group without blood flow resistance bands on, there was a very small increase in growth hormone. And then they did the same exercise, but put the blood flow resistance bands on. And there was a dramatic increase, 25 times greater release of growth hormone. Why? The body's doing the same exercise, but because of the reduced blood flow and the buildup of lactic acid very quick and the drop in oxygen, the body thinks you're doing high intensity exercise. Think of going for a walk for 15 minutes and getting dramatically higher growth hormone. Think of lifting light weights or doing yoga or simply going out and hitting tennis balls or golf balls and getting dramatically more growth hormone release. Let's look at three more studies. A study done on senior men, average age approximately 70 years old, they had two groups, a group without blood flow resistance bands and a group with blood flow resistance bands doing knee extension training. And they studied growth hormone. In these senior men doing this lightweight knee extension training, the BFR group, meaning when they put the bands on, there was significantly higher growth hormone. Every senior man can do lightweight exercises like this with BFR bands and promote growth hormone. Next study, middle-aged women, 52 years old, were studied. Three groups, a control group, a high-intensity group, meaning they're lifting heavy weights to high intensity, and a low-intensity group with BFR bands on. The control group saw no increase in growth hormone, which is to be expected they're not doing exercise. But what was amazing is both the high intensity group doing heavy and high intensity weights and the low intensity group both saw a significant increase in growth hormone, which means middle aged women can do light exercise and get the same human growth hormone release as if they're doing heavy weight, high intensity exercise. And finally, a fourth study done on college age women. Excuse the 52 years old there, that was done on college age women. They studied a group doing high intensity exercise and low intensity exercise with blood flow resistance training. Both the high intensity exercise and low intensity BFR group saw a similar increase in growth hormone, which tells us now our younger generation, 
our millennials can do these short, low intensity exercise sessions with very little soreness and almost no recovery needed in literally less than 20 minutes and get the same growth hormone benefits as doing high intensity exercise. Now all across the country, athletes, celebrities, doctors are now rushing to learn more and to implement blood flow resistance training for all of these incredible benefits, especially the growth hormone benefits. And finally, blood flow resistance training has been proven safe in a study of 12,000 people who were studied that have used blood flow resistance. I'll quote you the result of the study. BFR training is safe for healthy people and can be applied to persons with various kinds of physical conditions, including cerebrovascular disease, orthopedic disease, obesity, cardiac diseases, neuromuscular diseases, diabetes, hypertension, and respiratory diseases. This means even our physically challenged people, as long as your doctor releases you to perform normal exercise, you can use B3 bands to do light exercise and stimulate growth hormone to get better results. And only the B3 bands are safe for everyone from eight to 90 years old. These bands are easy to apply and portable. They're comfortable and effective. They have a patented air bladder design. They're the only bands that are waterproof and washable. They're the only bands with a 30 day money back guarantee and a 12 month warranty. And with the B3 bands, you can now get growth hormone stimulating exercise in just 20 minutes a day with simple light exercises. The B3 bands are your new shortcut to health and fitness, and they are the growth hormone solution for our entire population. For more assistance and more information on the science that was presented today, as well as access to the studies that I've referenced, simply email us at support at b3sciences.com. And after this presentation, I encourage you to get your own B3 bands and join the B3 exercise revolution. Thanks for attending this presentation.